Malaysia is a country that God has assigned to break things through for the earth in a way they haven't been broken through before. I don't know why he chose Malaysia for this, but he did, and he has. And over the last seven years, they've broken a number of things through. One of the things that they broke through was their governmental system, which last year completely fell in a moment, and no one in the country ever imagined it. But the people of God who had listened to the Lord and had released the sound that James was talking about over those years, the Lord had spoken to them ahead of that what would take place. And that government came down. Now, since that time, no new government has truly been established, though there is a, a government that's made up of very few fragments from the old. And the Lord said this year to them, He said, this is the year to see my government established in Malaysia. Now, this is not a government of elected officials. This is a government of God Himself as the King of a land and of a people. All he needs is a people through whom he can decree and rule and see things done. That's what's happening in Malaysia. They, the Lord said, if they don't see that happen this year, this kind of breakthrough, then by May next year, the old system will return seven times worse than it was before. So you see, breakthrough, breakthrough is critical, not simply because of what we're getting out of, but so that what we're getting out of doesn't return worse than it ever was. This is about coming into something we don't know about. One of the things that happened a number of years ago, more than 40, but not quite 50, there was a revival in Sarawak in Borneo, which is part of Malaysia. It was called the Barrio Revival. And it was among the Kalabit.